Okay, Black Bart, now you get yours. I shot my eye out. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out. Politicians and judges treating Canadians like children. I'm Brian Lilly with Rebel.media. Don't you love that scene from, from Christmas Story? Ralphie getting told he'll shoot his eye out if he gets a BB gun. Well, unfortunately, some politicians, some judges, all on the progressive side, seem to want to treat Canadians as if they're Ralphie. They want to treat all of us as if we're some kind of kid that needs to be minded by his mother, by the mall Santa Claus in the Christmas story. Uh, there was a, a ruling from uh, an appeals court a little while ago that said you've got to treat BB guns and airsoft rifles with the same safe storage requirements as you do a firearm, shotgun, 308, uh, an AR-15, what have you. They, they, this is the same thing. Now that is plainly ludicrous. Did anyone that knows how these things work would understand, but despite the judge's ruling being challenged by a new bill that says, Bill C-637, uh, that seeks to, to make a basically a, a minor amendment to the, the Firearms Act to try and do away with this judge's ruling. Despite that, despite common sense, there are progressive members of parliament in the New Democrats and the Liberals standing up and saying a BB gun is as dangerous as a rifle. They are a real gun. They are, they are something that will hurt somebody quite seriously. When I was young, I was hit with a pellet gun. Now, luckily, the, the wound was actually very, uh, very superficial because it hit a piece of leather on my shoe before it, before it hit my foot. And so I wasn't hospitalized as a result, but I very well could have been. Um, the Liberal Party of Canada is opposed to measures that put Canadians' uh, safety at risk particularly when measures like uh, those in this particular uh, bill uh, would primarily affect uh, the safety of, of our children. Uh, thankfully, not all MPs think like that. I caught up with Robert Sopak, a member of parliament from Manitoba, who is the one putting forward this bill to try and understand and, and get some common sense on the issue. I am proud to rise today to introduce my private member's bill, an act to amend the criminal code, firearm storage and transportation. Essentially, Robert, you're talking about a bill that would would tell the judges, get lost. The, you know, an air rifle, a BB gun, not the same as a 308. Oh, for, for sure, Brian. I mean, the judge's ruling basically overturned the trial judge, the appellate court did. And basically, if that ruling was allowed to stand, uh, BB guns and air rifles, uh, low-velocity fire or weapon or firearms uh, with a fire less than 500 uh, feet per second would be considered as true firearms and subject to all the uh, storage and transportation requirements, which is clearly ridiculous. All right. So, what would that mean for uh, someone like me? I got kids who like to shoot BB gun. Maybe we want to take. We're going to someone's cabin. We want to take it with us. All of a sudden, I've got to get paperwork from the chief firearms officer to, to transport a BB gun that I bought at Canadian Tire with no license? Uh, you wouldn't need that, but you would have to store the BB gun the same way you would store a normal fi firearm. Normal storage requirements are that the firearm is locked in a case in one room and the ammunition is locked up in another room. But in this case, you'd basically be locking BBs up in a room and locking your BB gun up in another room. Again, that's clearly ridiculous. All right, so I happen to think that the, the storage requirements are a bit too onerous. I know I'm not alone in that, but the government has decided that's not something you're going to tackle at this point. Right. But as far as the, you know, looking at the these non-firearms, um, I mean, really, a BB gun's not a firearm. An airsoft rifle is not a firearm. Exactly. The term firearm can be broken up into two words, fire and arm. And fire implies that there is a propellant that is ignited and it shoots the uh, projectile. And that's a true firearm. These devices, the BB guns and uh, airsoft rifles, are clearly not firearms. Now, the storage requirements, again, they're a compromise between protecting the rights of law-abiding firearms owners and uh, protecting uh, public sa uh, safety. And the public has said many times that safe storage of firearms is something that's very important. So, again, uh, all of our firearms legislation is that kind of balancing act. All right, so you've got Liberals and NDP MPs. I, when I heard about this, I thought, well, of course they're all going to stand up and say, sure, yeah, we all fired these sorts of things as kids. 
let's get on with it. Let, let's make sure that we're, we're dealing with real guns and, and not fake guns. But instead, I was surprised. They, they're standing up and saying, this is a horrible idea. How dare you? Well, again, the rhetoric is really over the top. This is a very simple bill. It's, quite frankly, it's a technical amend, amendment and nothing that much to get excited over. But again, their over-the-top rhetoric, Brian, shows where they're really coming from in terms of dealing with law-abiding firearms owners. Now, again, I'm chair, as you know, of the Conservative Hunting and Angling Caucus, and our motto is protecting a way of life. And so this is just another one of the attacks on that way of life by the Liberals and NDP. They were in favor of the RCMP banning the muskrat hat. And again, another small symbolic thing that our government overturned. But taken as a package, our government is standing up for every aspect of the outdoor way of life and this is just another way of doing it all right so speak to those viewers that don't know the difference between a 308 uh, a shotgun and an airsoft rifle or bb gun I mean, do, do they need to be worried because some people will look and say well it, it looks similar they, I, look at that over there that scares me sure now may, some of these uh, uh airsoft r rifles and replica bb guns for example they do look like firearms, and it is still a crime to use them in a dangerous way and point them at an anybody. So, so if you're trying to fool a, a store owner in a robbery, you're going to face the full extent of the law. The full extent of, of the law. Now, a 308 is a r rifle. It shoots a single projectile. A shotgun, as it says, shoots shot. Both of those are true firearms. And the airsoft rifle and the BB gun are clearly not firearms. And that's what my bill seeks to clarify. All right, Robert Sopak, thanks so much, and best of luck with what seems to be a common-sense bill. Thank you.